opportunity. Mr. Speaker elect. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker elect, can I just be the very first in Parliament to congratulate you on your successful election and to wish you the very best for your time as Speaker um, of this Parliament? Members of this Parliament uh, know you well, uh, but some members of the public uh, may not know you as well, and so for the purposes of that, I thought it would be useful just to summarise uh, David's achievements so far before taking up the role uh, as Speaker-elect and soon to be Speaker of this Parliament. He was, of course, elected to Parliament in 1994 as the MP for Selwyn. In the 1996 general election, he won the Banks Peninsula electorate before becoming a list member uh, based in Canterbury in 1999. David was elected junior government whip in 1996 before being promoted to a minister outside cabinet in 1998. He returned to the opposition benches as spokesman for finance, housing and tourism from 1999. Following the 2008 general election, David's ministerial responsibilities included Minister of Agriculture, Minister for Biosecurity and of course Minister of Forestry. David was appointed Minister for Primary Industries, incorporating agriculture, biosecurity, forestry, fisheries and aquaculture following the 2011 general election and Minister of Local Government in early 2012. As he mentioned himself, uh, he is a former student of St Bede's and this parliament today has uh, four other members of course who went to St Bede's, uh, Peter Dunn, Clayton Cosgrove, uh, Jerry Brownlee and Damien O'Connor. I only say to those members, congratulations on your world-class education commiserations for not going to Burnside High School. Um, no, well, the rugby possibly wasn't good enough, but I understand it's improved since I left. <laughs> uh, in terms of further education, David went to, uh, to Lincoln University, where he graduated with a Bachelor of Agricultural Science degree. He's held uh, a, varied career, uh, a varied career in uh, farming and business before Parliament. He established New Zealand's first commercial cattle embryo uh, transplant uh, company. And so he shares a great interest with the former speaker, of course, who uh, has also a strong interest in agriculture. In his spare time, he farms beef and sheep uh, properties on the Banks Peninsula in Cheviot in North Canterbury. Uh, David is married to Heather, and they have four children, all of whom are in Parliament today, to witness David's election, and we welcome them here today. Mr Speaker-elect, I congratulate you on behalf of the Government uh, on your election as Speaker of the House. You come to this role with 18 years of experience as a member of this House and both as uh, a Minister, a member of the Opposition uh, and of course as Government Whip. You bring to the House uh, your wisdom of uh, your time both in Parliament and prior to that. In my experience, uh, you are someone who is extremely fair, uh, someone that is thoughtful, uh, someone that has a real passion for the parliamentary process. In my time as Prime Minister, I've seen you work uh, with both officials and other mem uh, ministers uh, to try and achieve good, balanced and sensible outcomes for New Zealand. You've had the guiding hand in the largest industries in New Zealand in terms of agriculture. I've found your council always one to be sensible and wise, and uh, I was delighted uh, when you indicated that you would accept uh, the nomination uh, as Speaker, and I'm equally delighted that you've been elected today. Finally, like you, can I take a moment um, to reflect uh, on the great contribution of uh, former Speaker now, uh, Lockwood Smith. Uh, Lockwood uh, is someone that uh, has been in this Parliament for 29 years. Uh, he came uh, to the Speaker's role somewhat out of surprise when I rang him and indicated to him that I thought it would be a great opportunity. Uh, but he came to this Parliament and demonstrated his enormous intellect, his um, great uh, passion for, again, the parliamentary process and the role that it plays in New Zealand's democracy. He brought to this parliament, uh, I think, some real standards and some expectations. We on the government side didn't agree with every decision that he made, uh, just as I'm sure opposition parties didn't uh, either. But what he attempted to do and was successful in doing was ensuring that this parliament is perceived by other New Zealanders who watch uh, this uh, this. Uh, occasion, shall we use that word, um, 
that they could see that there was um, a great deal of importance about what was going on in this chamber, and uh, he will be sorely missed as our speaker, um, although he will take up his role, of course, as High Commissioner in London. I wish him the very best uh, for that. Uh, finally, uh, let me say that uh, those who have not had an opportunity to read John Armstrong's column this morning in the New Zealand Herald uh, would be well served in doing so. I think he points out the great contribution not only that Lockwood Smith has made, uh, but the great confidence that he has in you, uh, Mr Speaker-elect, for doing a wonderful job uh, in the years ahead. Thank you, Prime Minister. Mr Speaker-elect, Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr Speaker-elect. I want to also congratulate you very warmly on behalf